We gotta keep up to it. But not too close. Just close enough so I can see its camouflaging skills in action. Wanna take the wheel, Gorby? Do I? I mean, do you wanna drive? Oh, <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> hmm, the octopus must have gotten scared again and camouflaged itself. How can we get close enough to watch it without scaring it? Hmm, stop the polymery! <laughs> I'm having an engineering moment! Huh? That means she's got a great idea for something to build. Finished. <laughs> Gorby, would you please press the button? Oh! Boom! Whoa! Amazing! Our polo marine is camouflaged! Thanks, Willow! Now we can get close to the octopus without it noticing us. Along with any other cepha... cepha... Lepods! Yes! Cephalopods who might swim by. <gasps> Look, there's the octopus again. <gasps> it's uncamouflaging. It doesn't see us anymore. You're better at hide and seek than you thought, Gorby. Hey! Go! 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 <laughs> <laughs> nice work, Nash. Now we'll blend in anywhere, even in a herd of zebras. Octopuses, cuttlefish, and squid Change shape and color just so they stay hidden Disappearing right before your eyes It's nature's best disguise Oh, you're so sneaky, cephalopause Masters of mystery, all because of camouflage These cool creatures, they know how to blend in any setting, like coral rocks and sand. They can change the texture of their skin. There they go again. Oh, you're so sneaky, cephalopause. Masters of mystery, all because of camouflage. I bet you can see me, cephalopause. Looking like seaweed, all because of, all because of, Oh, um, uh, nice rock. Yes, very rocky. No, 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 no. Does he mean yes or does he mean no? I think he means no this time. But it's definitely a rock. Maybe he meant this. Hey, Nash, is this what you wanted to show us? No! This time he totally meant... No, I got it. Come on! <sighs> hey, Lucky! What is what? it? Look! Um... Cool? Is that what you're trying to show us? Mm -mm. Then what did you want us to see? Snake! Swimming, swimming, swimming! You saw a snake swimming? Snakes don't swim underwater, do they? I've never heard of that. Me either. Maybe he saw a long fish. Or a piece of seaweed. <gasps> a snake! <gasps> it's a snake! Let's follow it! It looks like it's taking a breath of air. I'm looking it up. It's called a banded sea crate. It can't breathe underwater, so it goes to the surface for air. It must be able to hold its breath for a long time. Let's time it. Hello, hello, snake. Come here, snake. Oh, and it says the crate is venomous. <gasps> Nash, Nash. No touching. No, no, no. Okay. It's coming this way. 
Look out! Uh-oh! Run! Oh, I mean swim! Nash, watch out! Oh, I forgot to tell you. Crates usually avoid divers. They just aren't interested in us. I wonder why not. Well, they eat fish. And we're not fish. Let's keep an eye on it. There's plenty more to see down here. And it smells like... Ugh. Rotten fish. We're on a whale! Ew. Ew. Gross. Disgusting. What is this stuff? This stuff, Gorby, is mucus. What's mucus? This stuff, Gorby. The same green stuff that comes out of your nose. Whale boogers? Ew. Uh-oh. Whales don't need to surface for long to breathe. They shut their blowhole and then dive back underwater. Inside, everybody. Whales are humongous! <gasps> Whale song! Wow! It's so loud! That's so the whale can be heard by other whales from far away. <sighs> I really hope it'll sing with us. Let's find out! Hello! We are the Polos! And we'd be honored if we could record you singing with us. You and your baby, how cute. Scotch, mountain top, shindig valley. Yep, definitely some damage. But it's nothing I can't fix. Okay, which tools am I gonna need? A screwdriver? A wrench? Or whatever this thing is. Thanks, guys, but I got this. Beach giant polos, you play? I'll stay. Yay! <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> Okay, goes there. Willow's a great engineer, but what if she can't fix the polo boat? <gasps> we'll all be stuck here forever! Forever! <laughs> Stay calm, Chester. Get your mind on something else. <laughs> I got it! Ooh, a beach ball! I love beach balls! <laughs> This engine is totally seized. It needs a top-to-bottom rebuild. I found some spare parts below deck. I was saving these to build a dancing robot, but I can do that next week. 
Ready, Gorby? I got it! I got it! I, I don't got it. Ball! <laughs> Yay! Ball! Uh -huh. uh, the wind's really starting to blow. Ah, uh, the ball! Uh, all that clanking tells me you don't think any of these will make the engine work again. <sighs> nope, we need something else to get the polo boat moving. I wish the wind would stop. I don't. I'm having an engineering moment. Wow, a sail made out of palm leaves. That's brilliant, Willow. Thanks. Seeing the wind push those leaves around gave me the idea that a whole bunch of leaves could catch a whole bunch of wind to push our boat. The wind will press on the sail and make it puff out. This force will push the puller boat forward and I'll use these levers to steer. Then it's Bye Bye Island. Changing to Polo Marine mode. And down we go! Hey, it says here that the ocean has different zones that get different amounts of sunlight. Right now, we're in the topmost zone, called the sunlit zone. Plenty of sunlight can reach this area, but the deeper we go down, the darker it gets. Below the sunlit zone is the twilight zone. Here, a little sunlight can reach. And below that, deep, deep down, is a midnight zone. Light can't reach here at all, so it's completely dark. Wow! It's getting really dark. Uh, it's kind of spooky. I'll turn the headlights on. Whoa! What is that? A rat tail fish. It's named that because of its really long tail fin. In the deep ocean, only plants and animals that can survive extreme pressure live here. And most of them look very unusual. Ooh, like that creature. Yes, that's a type of sea slug called a nudibranch. It's cool, but I don't see Nash's dolphin. Ooh, what's that thing? What is it? Wow, jellyfish. <gasps> and they're glowing. When a creature can make its own light, it's called bioluminescence. It's very useful when there's no sunlight around. Lucky, dolphin. <gasps> Nash, you found it. The gulf from the jellyfish helped you see where your toy landed. Oh, yeah. Way to go, Nash. All right. We got it. Nice. Nice Good work, work, Willow. Willow. Dolphin. Here you go, Nash. Good as new. Ah. Hey. hey! Just a little soggy still. <laughs> before he heard me. Marco, Marco come, come in. in! Hey, Willow. Hey, Chester. See any cool sea creatures approaching? I'm ready for my close-up. I think I see something over there. Oh, yeah. It looks like a whale. It's pretty big, too. I think I better go back to the polo marine. Basking shark approaching. Basking, Basking shark? shark? Ah! Wait, Polos, wait. It's okay. Basking sharks are not dangerous. But its mouth is wide open. And it's coming this way. Whoa. Don't worry. The basking shark swims with a wide open mouth so it can eat plankton. There are the teeny tiny plants and animals that you can find everywhere in the ocean. 
Huh? Oh, nice! Wow! Okay, basking shark. Say plankton! Nope. Too blurry. Wait! Basking shark! Come back! I need to take a better one! Shark, approaching. Yes! The basking shark is back! This one isn't a basking shark. Its mouth isn't as big. Then what kind is it? Audrey, we need a closer look. <gasps> a, a great, great white, white shark. shark! The biggest predator shark there is. You mean the kind that eats sea lions, fish, and seals? I'm coming in! I have an idea. Why don't we give you a hand? Swimming as fast as I can! Whoa! Whoa! Thanks, Willow. Thanks, everyone. Hey, Marco. Great white sharks have five rows of long, sharp teeth. Close to 300 teeth in total. Great white sharks are cool and all, but I don't need to see their teeth that close. Sorry you didn't get the shark picture you wanted, Marco. Not yet I haven't, but I will in a few seconds. Really? How? With my camera. That I left outside. Everyone say, Great White Shark! Great White Shark! Now that's Apollo's picture. <laughs> <laughs>